Yes. Stephen, one of the hot new buzzwords that we're hearing in a lot of different industries, a lot of media industries and IT, information technology, is convergence. Uh -huh. I'm interested in finding out what you make of this term, what you see is convergence in the future. You know, I converged myself last week, actually. Can you tell? <laughs> Uh, I don't know what it means. Here's what it means. What it means is your television is going to make toast. You know? That's what it means. So, I don't know what these people... Look, what is the most successful consumer product in the last 10 years? Microwave. I heard that. What else? What's that? Cell phone. VCR. No, you're all wrong. Thank you for playing. It is. It's a PC, okay? And here's all these PC companies running around looking for a consumer product when that's what they make, right? Now, Dell doesn't. They sell in the corporate America, mostly. But some other people do. Compaq does. Hewlett Packard does. Packard Bell does. Of course, Apple does. Uh, it's the most successful consumer product of the last 10 years. So naturally, we want to combine it with the television. <laughs> See. I've spent enough time now in entertainment with, with, with Pixar and working with Disney, who's just a terrific company to work with, by the way, um, is that people go to their television primarily to turn their brain off. You know, I used to think, like many of you maybe might used to think, uh, might have thought, that, um, that, that there was this giant conspiracy of the networks to put mediocrity on television and dumb us down, right? Did you ever think that? I thought that. I thought it was a giant conspiracy to rob the American uh, populace of their, their mind, if not their soul. But I, I then found out the truth, which is far more depressing. <laughs> which is, the networks give people precisely what they want. And the reason people want this stuff is they come home from a long day. You know, they... they, they, they they have dinner with their kids and they're fighting and they get into bed and they just want to turn on the television and turn their brain off for half an hour, right? So, do you ever do that? I mean, I must admit, I don't watch much TV, but I do that every once in a while. After a long, hard day, I will turn on the TV for half an hour and it really does turn your brain off. And so people go to their TV to turn their brain off for the most part. People go to their PC to turn their brain on. These things aren't going to be together. They perform completely different functions. So I think it's, it's about as crazy as, as other kinds of combinations that you can imagine. And I don't think it's going to happen. You know? I also think people want to interact with their computers a lot more. Keyboards, mice, up close, better resolutions. They want to sit back from their television sets. You know, web TV has been an utter failure so far. So I just don't see it happening. Now, sure, everybody would like a better online TV guide. Okay, Sony should build in an internet-based online TV guide into their television sets. I grant you that. But is this digital convergence? So that's what I think about it. And, and, uh, and, and uh, so I, I, yeah, that's what I think about it. Okay. Thanks. Yes.